In this video, we're going to look at how to create a custom bibliography style. The problem here is that Word provides all kinds of uh, writing styles of which it can format uh, your bibliography and your citations. However, when it comes to generating and inserting the bibliography, it only provides two styles. Neither, for example, is correct for APA. It does provide this generic insert bibliography option, which is style free, but that then requires you to uh, know how to format your bibliography so it adheres to the style you're writing in. So we're going to look at how to add another bibliography building block style. So all you need to do is select it from the gallery. A couple important things. Um, you want to make sure that your fonts are already set to default so that because whatever your default font is in the document is the font that will be used to generate any of the building blocks in your document. So I've before I even started I've come and set it to Times New Roman because I'll be working in APA 6, regular, 12, and I've set that as default. That way I know my font will be correct. So here's the problem. I've already, um, in the References tab, I've already created some references that I would have used in this paper, and I'm now ready to generate the References section. So I come to the Bibliography tool, and it doesn't provide me anything that says References. So I'll pick the first one. It gets much of it right, because I have picked APA 6, so it has the hanging indent, it has double spacing, um, but it's not called bibliography, and it's definitely not in blue and bold. So the first thing I'm going to do here is change this so it says references and not bibliography. Then I also need to format the text so it's not bold and blue and large and the different wrong font. So I'm going to come to the home panel here, and I'm going to set this to... Times New Roman, not 14, but 12, not bold, and definitely not blue. The other thing that's lacking here is in APA, the references page title is center. Now I have it uh, looking correct. If your defaults are off, though, for font and other things, you definitely next want to go to your paragraph settings and make sure things are also correct here, like your spacing. Uh, for many people, the after paragraph spacing will be set to 10 or something like that, and APA requires no additional space between line returns or paragraphs. I always set both of these dimensions to zero because there should be no extra spacing before or after any paragraphs. Line spacing should be double. And although there's already a hanging indent because I picked APA 6, I'll just go ahead. Uh, no, I won't do anything there. It's already correct. And I'm going to say set this as default for all my documents. All right, so it really didn't change anything there because everything else at this point was correct. Now that I verify this is all correct, I'm going to go back in my References tab to Bibliography, and you'll notice that there's a final choice here of Save Selected Bibliogra to Bibliography Gallery. This is what I want to do because I want my choice to pop up here so I don't have to reformat it every time I insert an APA 6 references section. So I'll say save selection to bibliography gallery. I'm going to name it references. I'm going to put it in my bibliographies gallery and I can just put um, APA 6 style as a note here and I'll say okay. Now when I click down here, there it is. There's the style that I, for me and my writing, that I need to pick all the time. So let me delete my text here. Let's just delete the entire inserted building block. All right, so that's gone. And now when I'm ready, I've finished my paper, I'm ready to insert my references section. I go to the references tab and the bibliography, and I can pick the style that I've just created that um, is accurate to reflect for, for my purposes here, APA 6. I click on that, and let's take a look. 
It's got the title references. It's in Times New Roman 12, and it's centered, and it's not bolded. It has all everything else inserted, APA 6 style. There's no extra space between paragraphs. It's done a good job. So although there's a bit of upfront work to get this created, uh, from now on, I never have to go back and fix things here. When I go to insert my bibliography, I can pick the style that I most frequently write in, which is APA, and the most current version of that style is version 6. So that is the process to edit and create a bibliography building block that reflects the style that you write in. Of course, if after you create it, you've noticed there's something wrong, you forgot to set something, your default font was incorrect, just repeat the process, and when you go to Save Selected Style to Gallery, it will just add, and if it's called the same thing, it will just ask you if you want to update or replace it, and you would say yes. Hopefully this was helpful.